Got a special treat for you guys today. Today I'm gonna be making blue crabs. It's my first time making it and I kid you not, it came out so bomb. Like it was mad good, mad flavorful and everything. So I'm gonna show you what I did to achieve this today. You're gonna need an aluminum pan like this. Make sure you wash it and you're gonna need some tongues because the minute you pour them in, they turn into some type of like acrobatic crabs like with superpowers they were pinching and biting and jumping all over the place you want to contain them within the aluminum pan i had to break out the wooden spoon at this point because like they was just fighting back i'm sorry like it just got too crazy for me you can do it two options you can just pour them right into the um boiling hot water which you should have on the side while um you contain them into the aluminum pan or you can just do the method i'm doing now you put them in an aluminum pan and then you take like a um you take a Thing of hot water and you pour it over them it takes about like maybe 10 to 15 minutes to kill them off um once you have them all in there i'm about to pour the boiling hot water so i'm just you know giving you the caution in the wind but you know girls gotta eat <laughs> and i love me some blue crabs and i wanted to make it for a while here comes the boiling hot water um once they're all nicely dead um again sorry for watching this for those who are a little bit on the sensitive side um yeah so make sure they're nicely dead like dead dead like door not dead um we're gonna clean them and we're going to um begin to marinate them so i'm gonna use cold water to stabilize the hot water i'm gonna pour some cold water into the pan and rinse them off give them a good rinse um which i'm about to do right now and um, i'm gonna start preparing them to clean them so here's the water I'm rinsing them off and I'm now gonna start deshelling them now This is optional a lot of people don't do it, but I do it I advise you should do it because you don't want to eat your crab with all that stuff in it There's two methods this method that I'm gonna do which I'm gonna slow down is with just the knife You take the knife you flip the crab over Exposing its belly and then you take the knife and you run it around along the groove of the um, Crab and then it lifts up this little slit under his belly and then you could just like rip the back off You can hold it on um, the slit open and then you know with the opposite direction pull apart the back side first time doing this Obviously it was like oh, but you know what that throws I'm throwing away all like the um, The feces and whatnot. This is the second method when you do the same thing, lift up the slit, and then you can use your fingers to keep the slit open. I know you guys see me with nails, so hold on, don't come at me because that's gonna be taken care of. Or And use the spoon to follow the groove in the backside of the crab, and you just crack that sucker off and that expose all the feces and all, all that stuff, the guts and all that, the doo-doo and whatever, you can throw all that stuff away. Um, again, with my nails, I'm going to wear gloves, so that's why I'm um, just handling it like as is right now i'm just removing the gills you can use both knife or your hands give it another rinse now i'm washing my hands and my nails to put my gloves on because i'm gonna start cleaning it now you want to really rinse off your crabs um you need two lemons um you're going to use the lemon as a brush every single crab get washed individually with the lemon as a brush here comes the vinegar which is like a um sanit uh, disinfectant agent rinse all that off you want to thoroughly rinse it off and um I'm draining all that water out and washing my hands again. Washing your hand is very important. Now I'm individually washing each crab as I put it into a big bowl because now I'm gonna start seasoning it. Um, make sure you wanna drain um, when you're seasoning your crabs. You don't want it to sit in the water. I'm gonna list all the seasoning that I use because it's very important that you just like eyeball the seasoning. I don't have tea tablespoons or measurements or like that. I just like to season and make sure everything gets coated nicely. That's eight pieces of Haitian marinara seasoning. It's good to let it sit because we're gonna put this on the side. I'm gonna put, uh, I'm gonna put saran wrap over it and I'm gonna just like set it to the side while it marinates. Now I'm gonna walk, work on the sauce. You're gonna need a pan on low heat, a stick of butter, um, about one tablespoon. Let that suck and melt nicely. There goes the eight piece again. Mix that in there nicely. And then some um, tomato paste um, on low heat. Some thighs. These are the seasonings. Sazon. Of course, you got to do some sazon. Some adobo. Mix all that in there. Um, a little bit of um, all-purpose seasoning. Now, the lime juice, you only want a little bit. You don't want it too jesty. Just one squeeze. I messed up and had to fix this. I'm using um, seafood stock instead of water. It's optional. A little bit more seasoning. There goes my hot pepper because, of course, you need some hot peppers and some vegetables you can use a knife to um, test your potato to make sure it's not too hot i use corn and um, potatoes and i'm mixing all that in there here comes the crab this took like about maybe 20 minutes to cook but you want to you want to taste your food in between to make sure the um, seasoning is right and it came out so snatched i just added a couple of shrimp that i already had pre-mating um pre-marinating before and that was the dish i hope you guys tried out i list the seasonings